Hey gang, so I recently competed in the stay at home CrossFit support your local box competition. Fitness in Texas, here, here. Put that on my Instagram bio. Something interesting that came of this is that they had RX sit-ups. And it's the first time I've gotten to do sit-ups in an RX workout ever, maybe. Maybe, maybe some benchmarks I've done sit-ups in. And they made an interesting standard of the movement that I actually really, really liked. Uh, so number one, let's talk about putting a towel under our back or using an ab mat. Do you need it for safety? Is it safer to use an ab mat or a towel under your back? No, it's not. What's the point of having a towel or an ab mat under your back? It is to increase the range of motion of that your lumbar spine is being put under. Is that a bad thing? No. In CrossFit, we love doing full range of motion. We like actually extending our chin over the bar and extending our elbows all the way out when we're doing chin ups. We like squatting all the way down and standing all the way up. So range of motion, increasing range of motion is generally a good thing. So one thumb up there for using an ab mat or a towel under their back. Now I, I ran this standard by a few, of my, a few of my coaching colleagues and a few people and they had never seen it before. I haven't gone back into the annals of CrossFit workout standards to see if this is a new standard or not, but it's the first time I've come across it so I assume it's the first time a lot of you have come across it too. Here's what the big change in the standard was. Instead of si sitting back, touching your hands behind your head and sitting all the way up, they actually did not allow that for RX. What they told us to do was we are not allowed to extend our arms over our back. So it, stand, it turned into something like this. I saw some people kind of doing like a chest pass with their arms. What that does is it eliminates the actual momentum that is generated by our shoulders when we throw our arms from behind our head all the way forward. And it actually puts a lot more load, more taxing of the abs. So I really, really like this movement, this variation of the new CrossFit RX sit-up standard. This could be something we can use to scale up in a regular class, in a regular Metcon, if sit-ups are a little bit e too easy for us. If even this is too easy for you, I would propose we start incorporating our CrossFit Turkish get-ups or our supine to standing, which I'll link to the end screen for you to watch, to scale that movement up a little bit more, to tax the arms along with the legs and the shoulders and our lungs all at once instead of just hitting our abs with sit-ups that are usually just like a rest movement for most people. Try it out, tell me what you think, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the page, and I'll catch you next time.